The Evidence to Action program is building upon some previous work to find women who are living with obstetric fistula, many of whom are isolated, hidden away. It is also acting as a convener, bringing together a number of partners under the leadership of the government of Ethiopia to work hard to develop a model for a continuum of care that starts with the identification and referral of women from communities and living within the communities which are being sensitized about the issues of obstetric fistula. Many women who have suffered from fistula have dealt with depression, anxiety, uh, lack of education, uh, destitute because of divorce and, and, and no education. And so after a woman is treated for fistula, oftentimes she still has very little to go home to. And if she suffered from fistula for many years, she's struggling with severe trauma, depression, anxiety, and fear. So when I first came to Ethiopia and uh, worked on a film following women with fistula to the hospital, I noticed a gap in social reintegration services and my heart really um, just felt for these women because they had no opportunities post-surgery and I also saw that the surgery and the healing and the treatment is uh, well the, the hospital is doing a phenomenal job um, with the physical treatment that there was so much um, psychological spiritual support economic support that these women needed so that they could really transition back into their communities and and have purpose and have their dignity back and restored Thanks to Evidence to Action, we've been able to open our second rehabilitation center here in Bahadar, and we've been able to welcome women that have suffered from fistula from the Amhara region. And we offer them an 11-day training program that includes income generating skills training, maternal health education, psychological and spiritual counseling, literacy training. And when they graduate, they serve as safe motherhood ambassadors. So they actually go back into their community. They help to identify new cases of fistula, and they help educate educate pregnant women about the dangers of home delivery and what a fistula is um, by sharing their own testimonies. And these are the new graduates um, or the new Safe Motherhood Ambassadors that just came for training. They're our second class and um, we're really uh, excited for them to be part of the rehabilitation work. <laughs> <laughs> this is Gojam. Gojam is an incredible woman. Um, she was married at age eight and developed a fish on her second delivery and um, at age 22 was divorced had fistula, had nothing um, except for one surviving daughter. And she came to the hospital and was treated and now um, she's come to Healing Hands. She just graduated as a Safe Motherhood Ambassador on Sunday. And one of uh, my favorite quotes that Gojam shared with us at graduation was she said, you know, in my community I was known for fistula, but now I'll be known as an ambassador. <laughs> and uh, she is such a strong woman, strong ambassador, and um, so bright. 